Let me show you how to do this job correctly. I don't like you, your suit's stupid, your face is stupid. But right now we have a wrestle party here at Fenway Park. Don't touch me, I'm working. It's nice to see, it's nice to see you recovered from that butt whipping the little Giants gave you earlier. We won, we're still champions. No, you stole it. Hey, are we champions, yes or no? Ladies right. and gentlemen, you're looking at Sully Banger. This man right here known as Bully Banger. He likes to push people around the playground. Doesn't surprise me you would like an individual like that. Hey, he looks like a bag of milk. But this man right here. If, if you have not seen Theodore J. Liftington, you are in for a treat here tonight. He is too nice. Too nice, Drew. Too nice. Too nice. Well, let's see if he's, I doubt that he's going to be nice to Mr. Sully Banger here today. Wow. It's like a throwback to the old strongman style. And his beard is way better than yours, Chad Evans. You can't grow a beard. I've got one. What are you talking about? That's not a beard. That's trash. Oh, well, you, you were. I guess you would be the authority on trash, wouldn't you, sir? I mean, I got to sit out here with you two. So, yeah, I know trash when I see it. But right now, this match is now going to be a mix of styles. It's Bully Banger versus Theodore J. Liftington, Strong versus Finesse. It's interesting first in the corner to my right from Providence, Rhode Island. Just called Bully Banger Finesse. 30 pounds. He is the Providence powerhouse, Sully Banger. His opponent in the corner to my left from Theodore's Traveling Liftorium. Wow. Weighing in at 112 kilos. Please okay. welcome. I thought I was going to say 112 pounds. Jay I was going to say I dispute that way in. The beard alone weighs 112 pounds. His personality weighs 110 pounds. It's the hottest action Fenway has seen since 1918. I don't know, there was a little thing in the bathroom a couple years ago, but I probably shouldn't talk about that on TV. We're not, not on TV, we're on YouTube. Not to mention a World Series or two, and here we go, the Never bell's been rung, it. and we are underway, folks. Theodore J. Liftington getting the Bell Time Club faithful into this match and firmly behind him. Two powerhouses here, we're going to see who can get advantage here and exploit. Oh, look at that. Theodore J. J. Liftington, we talked about the mind games earlier, striking that pose to remind Sully he just outpowered him. I don't think it's mind games. He doesn't have half a mind to actually spare. It's just he is the bravado of a 1920 strongman. He has a fashion sense of one, too. And again, powers him off. Brute strength alone has won many a man a match or two, and uh, that could definitely be the case here today at Fenway Park for Mr. Liftington. Well, you got to think for a guy who fancies himself a powerhouse to be deposited like that twice in a row has got to be a little discouraging. Well, here's the thing. I don't know if you've ever seen Theodore Lee lifting or shared a ring with him. He is quite possibly one of the strongest competitors in all of New England. Well, if you're Sully Banger, how do you counter that now? I don't know. You poke him in the eye and kick him right between the legs. Words of uh, wisdom here from Chad Epic. It might not be pretty, it might not be beautiful, but guess what it is? Effective. I guess I can congratulate you and the Middlesex Express on your victory earlier. You should. First ever, last ever New England Tag Team title holders. Maybe I should congratulate you, but I won't. This is why you get your suits at Kmart and mine custom tailored from the Kingsmen. Don't be mad at me that I'm thrifty. Well, we commented this is perhaps the quietest, most uh, reserved suit we've ever seen you wear, Mr. Epic. I didn't want to get my uh, decent suits. This is my poor people suit when I'm around these uh, inbreds here in Boston. I probably shouldn't have asked. I probably should have known better. So right now, all we have is Bully Banger getting very angry. I told you, we talked about the mind games. Sully, Sully's getting in his head. Wait a minute. Oh. Theodore J. Liftington has rented space in Sully Banger's head right I now. I hope he's paying him rent. You run into a brick wall, the brick wall wins. And here we go. Let's see yes. how Liftington fares. 
And Banger fails again. Probably not the best idea for Sully Banger. And, and that guy just called a headlock. I know you don't know one from a wristwatch, but that is a professional wrestling move. Say that again. Spell that for me. H E. Oh. Ooh. I ain't here to spell or read. I'm here to lead the commentary table. That's because he can't do either. I can do it. I just don't want it right now. Irish whip. Oh, he got it with a close line. They exploded out of that corner, and it takes that kind of explosive power to get Liftington down. That was almost two. Only got the two out of it. I think he might have knocked the ever-living wind out of Liftington, and that's his time to take advantage. Pumble him, cut his hair, stab him in the eye, do whatever you can. Stab him in the eye? What? Jeez. Come on! Utilizing every second of that count of five to his advantage there. Yeah, still four. You don't want to get to five, you're going to disqualify. Boy, am I lucky to have you around, Chad. You are. The pleasure is always all yours. See, it doesn't matter how big and strong, how intelligent you are. If you can't breathe, you can't do anything. So right now, Sully Banger. Oh, my God. Wow. We saw earlier Sully Banger explode out of the corner with a clothesline. Now Theodore J. Liftington returns the favor. Oh, no. He's going Atlas mode right now. He's putting the whole world on his shoulders. Big Sully's fighting out of it. He has Liftington in the corner, Drew. You guys can talk. I don't have to do it all. What are you doing? Come on. We got a huge... This is a soup play coming up, a Gordon Choley special. Well, watch out now, because the power of lifting says he's blocking that maneuver. Banger is trying, but he cannot get him over. He weighs like 10 stones. Of course you can. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh, he's powering up here. Those big left hands. He's going southpaw on him. Big roundup, Drew. No. Fired for the right hand and missed. Oh, big forearm to the back. Great tip catches him. Messes up the O'Connor roll. Oh, Discus. wow. He nailed the right hand there, and Banner may be out. Should be going for the cover right now. He's setting him up. No, no, no. He's going for that big blow. He's going to send him back to 1912. Oh, that's it. Banner hits that DDT. That could do it. Look how effective that when he kicked out the knee, hits the when he hit the DDT, and then could he be goes it, for folks. Went right into that knee strike, but only got a two count out of it. And Liftington now looking for some encouragement from the Bell Time Club faithful. Do no, not give him protein. No wasted effort there by Sully Oh, Banger. no, he's pulling on the beer. Oh, you don't tug on Superman's cape. You don't pull on Theodore J. Liftington's beer. Oh, God. It's Look like at this. With and the power of that. The beard plex. Unbelievable. Never, I've gotten my hand caught in that beard. Wait a minute. Double underhook. Oh, he's going for that package pile driver, maybe. He's fighting out of it. He's now. got it now. Oh! Package suplex center of the ring. One, two, That's three. It. Wow. Impressive victory for Theodore J. Liftington. The LIS lift, Liftorium Porium Specials right there, the center of the ring. One, two, three, it's academic. Absolutely. Something you know nothing about is academics. Hey, he beat him with the package suplex. I think it's fit, safe to say he proved he's got the biggest package in the ring. <laughs> well, it's Theodore J. Liftington. He would never be so vulgar. He's a gentleman, unlike you, sir. You were out here kicking people and interfering in matches. My guys won. I can do what I want. Well, Sully Banger taking the short end of the purse here tonight. Certainly not the outcome he wanted. What is this? Oh, he just broke his hand. I heard a snap. Always the gentleman, Theodore J. Liftington. That was just, that was a horrible act. He broke his hand. That's not very nice. He was shaking his hand. He broke it. It's not his fault. He's a powerhouse. Hard fought victory for the strong man. Well, ladies and gentlemen, watching at home on YouTube, thank you very much. My name is Drew Kazoo for Mark Green and Chad Epic. We'll see you next time.